Um, I am live straight on the group wall. Um, so I normally stream through a different program and then I pop over into uh, Facebook, but it looks like there was some, or I guess there were some audio issues. What I was talking about as we um, were dealing with those um, uh, sound issues um, was uh, Lisa had a question about if you can channel baby while in the womb and um, my guardian angel Petodai is saying yes and also um, I get a good gut instinct yes um, I have actually sensed her quite a bit um, of course, I mean, you're going to sense um, a baby in your body, but um, I have sensed kind of more her personality and um, definitely some of her team um, has kind of been hanging around. So it's been really interesting to get to be introduced to her team. And um, so that's been fascinating and it's been really cool to be able to kind of uh, get a sense of that while um, she's cooking, while she's getting ready. As uh, we were discussing, so I have some things coming up at the end of this year that I will need to step away for, of course, to take care of baby and to heal and to bond and have all that good stuff happen. Um, but I definitely am planning on keeping up the events going in the group. I will be posting um, pre-recorded pre videos, different videos that I'm preparing actually right now um, for that time. And I will also be around the group. I may not be as active, but I definitely will be keeping an eye on the group and monitoring. So um, if you guys have questions or if there are cool posts or whatever, um, you can of course post those and I want to keep this group open and active as much as possible. So um, I still will be around a bit, but not live yet. And I will be um, taking some time to step back from readings for, um, I don't know how much time, but I definitely will be doing readings and uh, healings up until the point where I'm ready to go uh, onto maternity leave. And then I will be reopening all of that up as soon as I am ready to come back. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And um, I definitely will be sharing all of those posts and timelines and stuff here on Channeling with Love, as well as on my website, channelingwithlove.com, and my Facebook business page, Ashley Cunningham Medium. So there will be lots and lots of info available when that time comes. Um, and with that, um, I want to dig into channeling dragons because uh, I love dragon energy and I know a lot of people really connect with dragons and have their own dragon guides and I honestly have not channeled them in a little minute like for a little while <laughs> a hot minute I guess is the phrase I always mess phrases up I don't know what happens there but um, <laughs> uh, I'm really excited to be channeling dragons tonight I typically have um, a white dragon that comes up and this dragon is an air dragon and um, he is going to be coming in to work with us tonight he's going to be my main dragon I'm going to be channeling for you guys and um, uh, then if you guys have questions or if you want to connect with your dragon, if you know you have a dragon spirit guide, feel free to post those questions in the comments and I will be taking some questions for the remainder of our time here. So, um, yeah, whew, and I'm already feeling a ton of energy coming in straight through my crown and in the back of my head and all through the right side of my body in the back. So um, this dragon, he is super, um, uh, I love his energy. It's so intense and yet really um, light at the same time. I don't know if I can describe it better. Um, he's really direct, but he's this very flowing, energetic being that um, uh, is sometimes it makes me feel like when I channel him like I'm kind of floating and it's just kind of I'm floating in his energy and so I'm kind of getting that floaty feeling right now um, so it's kind of a, a crazy weird mix but um, he is so great and uh, he is introducing himself I've channeled him before and um, I honestly don't remember the last time I channeled him 
um, was, I feel like it was like two or three years ago. It was a long time ago. But he is presenting himself as this white kind of snake-like dragon with the long, um, uh, long mustache feelers and the big claws. And he's also got this blue uh, tint to his energy. And it's the exact same way as I channeled him before. He has a very crisp picture that he likes to present to me. And um, he is just kind of chuckling. He's saying, it has been a long time, dear one. He's saying he, he doesn't necessarily uh, want to be um, separated from me for so long. Um, he would like to work with me more directly, so I'm definitely going to take him up on that offer. And uh, he's very happy to be here. He's saying, hello, everyone. Thank you for allowing me to step forward at this time. Uh, this time, this he's kind of gesturing to this week. In the next few weeks, um, there is so much energy coming onto the planet that we may need to... Um, pay extra attention to our physical vessels in our energetic bodies, uh, making sure we take care of ourselves. He's saying um, us humans, he's pointing to us, um, us humans are very easily swayed in the energy that wafts through, wafts on the air uh, currents, and he's showing himself flying um, in the air and just kind of like going all crazy like on jet streams types of type of quick flying and he's saying that there's a, a huge amount of energy coming in and I'm sure all of us have felt that um, ascension symptoms have been real <laughs> um, and they've been a lot in the last few weeks and I know that they're going to continue moving forward um, he's saying uh, yes this has been um, an affliction for a lot of people who are not awakened yet. Um, it may amplify a person's characteristics if they're a little bit more ungrounded. Um, so the more grounding that we can get, the more stable and calm we will feel inside and be able to react to things as they come at us as we move forward in our, our daily living. Um, but he's saying many people will be um, amplified, whether that's um, a, he's saying this more neurotic type of behavior and or the more calm, stable, um, the more grounded type of behavior. So whatever, wherever we're at, it's all being amplified at this time. And he's saying it will for quite some time. So as we move forward, this will be something. And as you encounter people, I've seen some people online that seem to be a little bit more amplified than maybe what I would have expected just interacting with them on a, a normal basis um, online. It's definitely shifted or it seems to be ramping up a bit for some people. So definitely um, keeping an eye on that for yourself as well as the people around you is going to be important for you in the future. Uh, he's saying uh, he also wants to highlight that while dragons um, may be deemed a very, uh, he, he wants to call out the, the very mythological type of dragons that um, we often see in our mind's eye. He's saying dragons can look like that, but dragons also look like many other, um, in many other ways. So he is a very, a more traditional, very air dragon. He um, has the qualities of air, so he moves through the air. He, the way he moves in the air, it's it's all that energy of air. There are other dragons who are of the earth or who are of um, other properties like water, fire, earth. Um, he's showing like um, dragons that like or prefer extreme temperature differences. So really, really cold or super hot. And um, he's saying they are all over the earth. Whether or not we recognize them, um, they are here. They, uh, dragons leave a footprint upon the energy of Gaia. Um, but they typically in their more physical form are living within a separate dimensional frequency. And so we may not see them with our eyes or feel them with our hands, 
Um, but we can definitely, like we work with spirit or fairies or angels, you know, all of the different types of spiritual beings that we encounter, um, they operate in quite the same way. Uh, many of us have dragons that accompany us in our energetic fields and work with us to bring about healing, strength, um, to help bring balance into our um, our alignment within all of our uh, vessels. We have multiple layers to us as a human. And uh, he's saying all of this work is worthwhile and um, an honor to work with individuals. Some people may not resonate with dragon energy, so they may not feel um, a pull to have dragon um, spirit, dragon energy with them. Um, but you can always, if you wish to, um, He's saying, if you wish to try out um, and connect with the dragon energy, you can always ask what, for one to be um, kind of connected with you and allow yourself to be presented or introduced. He's kind of giving me a few different words there. Um, presented or introduced to this energy um, in an organic way. So this may be, I'm asking him, what does that mean to him? Is this a meditation? He's saying meditation is the um, fastest way, the most direct way to incur this introduction. Um, he's saying your angels will know and be able to um, not like coordinate or set up like a play date type of, of, of meeting with this energy um, of a dragon. But the dragons know who is ready, who's maybe interested or who's maybe not ready to um, work with their energy um, and he's just saying that sometimes dragons can be a little bit overwhelming so it, it's not everyone's cup of tea but if anyone is interested it's always available to call a dragon in I personally haven't called a dragon in specifically I like to channel this air dragon I call him Kanu K-A-N-U um, he that's the name that he's always presented to me and it's just fascinating to um, channel him, um, but I might actually ask a dragon um, to kind of be paired up with me. I think that'd be fun to have that being around. He's saying um, this could be. Um, a, he's saying this could be a game changer in a lot of people's spiritual practice. Um, it's. Uh, he's saying the energy of a dragon, while intense, it's um, very um, compatible with um, more of the the magical elements of the the fae the fairy realm that we often experience when we work with fairies or trolls or gnomes or brownies or pixies um, or unicorns or any of the fairy um, beings that we can connect with um, they uh, are one in the same they're kind of in that grouping so their energy feels just kind of super magical and I always feel like there's like fairy dust floating around in the, the room when I'm connecting to uh, Kanu or um, when I'm connecting to fairies or any other more fey being. So um, he's just kind of saying too that um, you may want to look at connecting with a dragon in this uh, context if um, it seems a little different to you. Um, most people, you know, see the mythical creatures. We, we hear about dragons in all different types of cultural um, histories, oral histories, and um, myths and legends. So it's, it's really fascinating that um, humans for a very long time have had interactions with these types of energies, um, these beings who I'm asking Kanu right now, has he actually been in the more physical, um, um, been a more physical body here on earth before? Um, maybe not right now, but have they been? I have dragons in general, I guess. Saying yes, of course. Um, there has, um, there has been um, a shift before um, when there was more of um, lighter energy upon the planet. They were here. Um, in a more physical form, but they then had to, they decided to shift into a different dimensional frequency in order to um, preserve their, um, their, their way of life, I guess, um, the way that they wanted to live and their, 
their energy and their beings. And right now that they work, they work with Gaia in a lot of the freak, the dimensions upon Gaia. Um, but they often come into our dimensional frequency and they work with us humans as well as with the energy here and our Gaia that we are upon. So uh, it's really, really fascinating. He's kind of just showing like there's layers of um, dimensions that they kind of flow through um, at will. So it's really fascinating. Um, okay, so I'm seeing some questions here. Uh, Mina, I see, does everyone have a dragon? Not everyone, but everyone is in, totally open to asking them to join and to have a dragon um, companion or spirit guide if you wish, if you're drawn to um, a dragon. Um, David is asking, this is a great question, may we channel their wisdom, strength, and fire? Do I have a dragon? Thanks. Um, Kane is saying, yes, David, um, as you work with a dragon, um, your, their wisdom, their strength, their fire, their passion, um, their spirit, you will um, get a, a very, oh, he's showing, okay, he's showing like a, a close connection, kind of like, um, he's twisting my fingers to show me like, you'll be like twinsies, <laughs> but that's not what he's saying. If the energy is more like, you'll get an, an intimate knowledge of that dragon and their energy and their wisdom, their strength, everything, you can totally channel that information. And um, also when you, when you channel any type of spiritual being um, and you're asking for their, their support and their uh, wisdom and uh, for them to bring forth their strength and comfort for you. Um, that is like the same kind of relationship you can have with a dragon. And the person that comes to mind for me, Mother Mary. I love Mother Mary. She has been such a um, source of support and love for me throughout my entire uh, time channeling and throughout my life, really. I didn't recognize it before I learned how to channel, but she's been around for my entire life and I um, just really get a lot of support from her. And it's kind of like that. You develop a relationship with a spiritual guide or ascended master or your guardian angels. And um, you can then um, kind of incorporate the wisdom that you learn from them and the have that comfort and strength and love that you can get from them into your daily life and help you uh, move forward along your path. Um, so he's, Kanu is saying that this is optimal um, this is the what dragons would want to do with you if you were to channel and connect with them. And I'm asking uh, Kinu now, does David have a dragon? He's saying yes. Um, he's saying, you've been interested in dragon energy before, David. And at that time, um, there was um, a dragon. He's showing kind of like a smaller, not a giant dragon, um, but a smaller energy of a dragon that's like emerald green and like really shiny and um it's more of um an earthy energy to this dragon and he's very reflective which is really fascinating it's almost as if he's like like an emerald stone um that's kind of almost like a mirror at the same time very reflective kind of shifting um not necessarily um one that you would just be able to look at and just see okay here's the shape of this dragon but it's kind of like a morphing energy um but he's presenting as um kind of a more traditional he's giving me a picture your dragon's giving me a picture of like the King Arthur dragons, you know, the big bodies with the wings and the big teeth, um, but he's in the long tails, spiky tails, but he's a little bit smaller um, in size. Um, not miniature, but like medium sized dragon. And um, his energy is pretty much expanding out um, around you. And Kanu is just encouraging you to talk to your dragon and see how um, he feels, it's a male, he feels around you and connect with him. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that kind of morphy, kind of reflective nature of a dragon like that before. So that's really fascinating. Um, awesome. 
Uh, Lisa is asking, what do dragons do um, with us as part of our journey? And Keenu is chiming in on that. He's saying, ultimately, it's up to you and your path, what you're interested in, what direction you would like to move forward in, how you would like to interact with spirit um, to co-create in your life, um, the spiritual work that you want to do, or just like your daily living. You can incorporate them into anything. He's saying like um, a spirit guide, a starseed family member, an angel or a guardian angel, they can come in and assist you along your path. Dragons tend to have um, more, <laughs> he's saying, um, more of a oomph behind their their energy so they're a little bit more potent or um, more direct sometimes than maybe other beings would be um, so if you like a straight shooter and you know you want to interact with an energy that's going to come in and really like come in and f be very um, not overwhelming because you never want to be overwhelmed but be very direct and um, reassuring is I, what I like to think of like a really powerful um, strong energy coming in as um, this a dragon is a perfect spiritual guide they can answer any type of question that you would ask any other spiritual being um, like David also requested or asked of Kenu um, he anyone's dragon can also lend um, guidance comfort wisdom strength um, whatever it is that you're looking for um, they can help to guide you along your path and help connect you with um, their energy, but also just for my own interactions, um, this is me, just for my own interactions um, with channeling Kenu, it's just such a magical experience. Like, I feel like, again, I'm kind of floaty right now, and um, the energy is just so different than a lot of the other types of energy that I'm typically working with. And um, if, you know, you may not resonate fully with galactic beings or with the fairies or with angels in a way that you may resonate with a dragon. So um, there's always that energetic match with spirit, um, with yourself as well. So um, definitely try. And if you're interested, I don't know, Lisa, if you have a dragon or if you've tried to connect with a dragon before, but I would definitely recommend it. They're super cool super super cool um carrie is asking uh for a message from her dragon named sunflower and um carrie would love a message uh from sunflower and immediately i'm seeing this beautiful like yellow uh dragon with like those brown deep brown undertones like in the scales and in the claws and stuff and it's just Sunflower is so cool and very happy, a very light-hearted, happy dragon. Um, so that's super awesome. Sunflower is coming in right now, right up against my face on my left side. And into my left ear, there's a lot of energy coming in. Whew. Um, and Sunflower is saying to you, Carrie, um, it is an honor to work with you and to bring forth the the joy, the, um, she's kind of showing like sun rays, those sparks of excitement and joy and happiness and wonder into your life. She'd love to work with you more directly on a day, daily basis. Um, she recognizes that there's a lot of energy around you pretty much all the time, but um, she is um really coming in as like she wants to not that she's not part of your team but she's like wants to like be right by you almost like um you know those dogs like gold i feel like more if she were a dog she'd be like a golden retriever very happy yellow golden retriever just beautiful coat very um content to just be with you wherever you're at and um, she just wants you to feel and know that she just really treasures your uh, relationship and connection with you. And as you move forward in these next um, few months, she's uh, showing herself more in your um, natural environment, maybe around, I don't know if you have like a large yard or maybe a park that you like to go to often, 
but um, she's showing herself in this like bigger kind of natural environment, lots of grass and plants and stuff around you, and just being really content to um, kind of just hang out with your energy and to bring in that kind of sense of peace and grounding in your energy as the weather gets better and you're able to be outside a lot. Um, she, she just wants to hang out in that space. And that's kind of her, her jam. She feels very um, like a summery type of dragon. I mean, Sunflower kind of says it too, but her energy is very um, sunny and happy and lighthearted. And um, so she's wants, she just wants to bring more of that forward for you um, and have you incorporate more of that into your daily, your daily work. Um, she's not giving me a sense that there's anything big happening for you in your life at this time. Um, just more around just that daily, just the little moments, enjoying the moments and enjoying that, that peace that, um, comes with, you know, when we're outside and it's summertime and it's kind of that golden hour, everything's nice and warm, but it's not too hot and the light is perfect and everyone's just really content. That's kind of her energy and her feeling, and she wants you to just be in that space more often. And oh, she's so cute. She kind of did gave me like a, a nose boop on my on my cheek, and she's backing up now. So I hope that you enjoyed that, Carrie. Uh, super fascinating. Uh, Marnie also has a dragon. She knows her dragon's name, Grazuel. He's a black earth dragon. And she would love to confirm, oh, she wants to confirm the name. Um, I'm just getting a rumbling yes. <laughs> that is his name. You are correct, Marnie. He he feels, compared to Sunflower, who just, her energy just left, he feels quite serious, um, but also really gentle and um, uh, very grounding. I mean, that definitely an earth dragon to the core super grounding and he's also showing kind of like a glintingness like um he's like obsidian and he he um, has his scales that are kind of shiny but they're deep black um, but sometimes they're matte too he's showing me different versions of his his um form and it's very fascinating but he's saying yes you are correct this is awesome Okay, let's see here. Judy, who is my dragon and what is their name? Okay, Judy, let's see. Hmm. Um, I'm getting a sense, Judy, that you have quite a um, youthful dragon around you. Um, it's quite small, um, like it could sit on your shoulder that's how it's presenting to me. I don't feel like their energy is um, like normally that size, but it's presenting as very small, kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like I want to say like maybe a three to four month old kitten, like um, kind of that mid size, kind of in between um, size there that can, they can sit on your shoulder and play around and stuff with you. Um, and I'm asking, what is your dragon's name? Hmm. Okay, so um, the coloring that I was seeing of your dragon is more of this like gold color. And I asked to confirm because I literally just had referenced a golden retriever um, in speaking about Carrie's dragon. Um, but your dragon saying their name is Goldie and kind of referencing that, that reference that I just made about a golden retriever. Full gold dragon. Um, but it's very miniature and it kind of almost has like um, this like I was talking about the kittens like the face of a, of a cat it's just so uh, innocent with the big eyes and very very just sweet and super super cute very cat like in it's the way it moves um, and that's why it was showing me it like a kitten size um, also to reference size but he it's a male he has kind of this kitten like energy to him um even though he has the longer tail 
and he has he does have the four arms and legs so, so two arms in the front and two legs in the back um, not very spiky it almost he looks soft to me like furry almost so I don't know if you guys have seen or um, experienced dragons like this but I've never really seen a super furry dragon before but he seems more furry which is really interesting but it's like golden um, deep golden fur almost li like a lion almost but it's a dragon it's not a lion <laughs> so it's so interesting very different than what I have seen before um, but Goldie is just saying hello to you Judy and um, they he's he's gonna present himself to you in um, an interesting way he's showing like he's like ready to pounce or to jump out and like surprise you so definitely be on the lookout for that energy and for maybe seeing seeing something that maybe reminds you of Goldie or is gonna bring your attention to that um, dragon's energy but uh, he he seems very youthful and very happy and um, it's just kind of really fascinating and, and interesting um, uh, dragon for sure. And I'm asking, um, what is he helping you with too at this time? Um, he is just getting acquainted. It se seems like he's just joined you recently, not necessarily, um, he hasn't been with you for very long but um, he is trying to bring in more of that sense of surprise or um, kind of, um, you know, that energy of surprises, like um, just that excitement, that kind of novel energy that he's bringing into your life. That's a lot of what I'm feeling from him. Super cool. Okay, fascinating. Well, I hope you like that, Judy, and resonate with that. And thank you, Goldie, for showing me a cool dragon that I've never seen before. Um, awesome. Marnie's saying that her dragon has met her before in previous lifetimes. Yes. Uh, Amy is saying that she also loves dragons and loves dragon energy and she always sees a pink dragon with a and a silver dragon whenever she connects to them that's beautiful i'm asking are those your dragons amy they're saying yes and they're kind of entwining kind of like a serpent's um, more serpent like in their movement i'm feeling like they're more um related they're more like water almost um, not necessarily like Kanu, like an air dragon, but a little bit more fluid, like in water. And they work with you, yes. And they're they're just saying yes, and they kind of flit it off. So <laughs> I hope that resonated with you, and I hope you like that confirmation. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, are there water dragons? Yes, there are. Um, definitely, we just I saw two of them uh, for Amy. Um, she's uh, Stay Stacy saying uh, she met a red feathered like water dragon through a vivid dream. Beautiful, that's awesome. Mm, yeah, your team, your the dragon itself isn't confirming this, but your team is confirming that. Yep, that you had an experience and you met that dragon. So that's awesome. Um, okay, Susie is asking Kanu if he has a message or um, any guidance for her at this time. Um, Susie, just um, go within, going within and um, seeking your confirmation within. He's making me feel like um, there might be some more external things that are demanding your attention at this time and uh, he wants you to go within and focus with yourself and then you can look at what's around you um, and he's making me feel like you may have some decisions to make soon um, and doing this inner work or going within and reinforcing kind of um, your own um, intuitive uh, nature 
um, is going to be helpful when making those decisions in the future. So definitely uh, take some time to do some meditation, some some self-care work, reflection. Um, he's saying now's the time to kind of step back a little bit and regroup, and then you can move forward as um, you are ready to. Okay, that's awesome. Um, Lisa is asking, is there any connection between dragons and dragonflies? Do they have dragon energy or are they related to dragons? That's a good question. Hmm. Kane is kind of coming up with the um, blanket. We are all related and connected to each other. <laughs> um, but I'm asking him like specifically dragonflies. Are you guys in the same kind of arena? He's saying not necessarily the biological structure, of course, um, but the energy of a dragonfly. Um, there is a little droplet of kind of this dragon essence um, and it, it expresses itself differently in dragonflies than it does, of course, a full dragon in their energy. But part of the, the mystical kind of elements of dragonflies, dragonflies are used by angels and lots of spiritual beings to bring forward our attention to spirit. They're messengers, they help to bring in signs, they help to bring in confirmation for people. And um, dragonflies, um, they're kind of their sense of, he's saying sense of whimsy, um, kind of connect them in that same vein, uh, in that same sense. So seeing a dragonfly for a lot of people just brings up this kind of magical, mystical kind of feeling, um, as well as connecting to spiritual beings. And they've been, you know, uh, referenced as um, messengers for uh, spirit. And um, they're saying that this is their connection. So it's more in their energy, but it's not necessarily like dragons are related to dragonflies. It's not that super direct. So um, he's highlighting the the feel of a dragonfly versus their biology or anything like that, which is really fascinating. That's cool. I never really thought about dragons being related to dragonflies before in any sort of fashion. Oh, awesome. Sunflower is helping Carrie right now. She's making her crown and third eye and ear chakras hum. Yeah, definitely too. If you'd like to get um, uh, work with your chakras, have uh, dragons come in and work with your chakras. That's definitely something they can help you with. Marnie's also experiencing that with her dragon, Grasuel, um, getting big ear ringing at this time, and he has a very distinct presence with her. So that's awesome. Yeah, very distinct distinct, um, very um, kind of solemn, serious, but very cool at the same time. Um, Amy, yes, she's saying her water dragons, kind of the dragons she keeps seeing, those pink and silver ones, kind of remind her of newts. And yeah, that's definitely um, uh, a reminder that they have that kind of energy, that flowy energy in the water. That's really cool. Uh, Melody is asking, could I have a message from her Garth? Her dragon's name is Garth. Hmm, he's coming in right now. And um, his energy is interesting, uh, very jovial. Um, can be serious at times. He's just feeling um, quite happy at this moment to um, be interacting and connecting with you. And he's just, um, this is cool, he's just saying hi to Kanu, so they're like talking behind me. But um, Garth is talking in my right ear right now too. And he's saying, Melody, now's the time to um, be bold. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Now's the time to be bold, to recognize what it is that you wish to bring forth in your life and um, start taking the steps that you need to take to make it happen. 
um, he's kind of showing me like you have some ideas percolating melody and they're kind of like hanging out in the back of your head and he just wants you to go for it Whew, lots of energy right here he's just saying go for it step forward and um, he's showing himself kind of standing behind you and kind of nudging you like pushing you out the door <laughs> like get going um, and uh, he he's just coming in pretty strong with some just supportive energy excitement um, because there are some good ideas that you have and uh, he just wants you to feel confident and know that you can make it happen so that's pretty awesome and he's definitely feeling like TikTok girly like now's the time let's let's get it going <laughs> so that's so cool um Kushna, thank you Carrie for sharing that comment that was from um, the events page um, Hushna she wasn't able to join us but she did have a question it, could we please let her know who her dragon is she has seen a lot of them in the clouds thank you wow okay so Hushna, this uh, energy is coming in for you and it's a male energy it's a dragon energy and he's saying his name is Baro, B-A-R-R-O-W, like to lend or to borrow. But um, he's making me feel like Baro is like an older name for something else. It doesn't necessarily mean what we use it for at this time, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, but he's making me feel like he's very old. Um, and he's saying that um, he recognizes um, your energy and you are you've recognized his energy you're seeing you've seen him um, in the clouds you have seen him around you have sensed his energy but maybe we're not necessarily um, familiar with his energy at the time but he will be introducing himself to you more directly and now that you have his name you can also call on him to come in if you wish to feel him he's making me feel like he's um, a lot of different colors but like more natural colors like sea colors like a dark brown to black like the rocks with some blue and white mixed in um, very interesting and he's making me feel like he is from um, like Scotland or Ireland like that energy of that place is kind of what he feels like um, so if you have ties to that area or have been drawn to that area to go visit um, or go and um, research about definitely um, see if uh, you resonate with that energy that frequency because he is feeling like of the ocean from there or from in that area so definitely um, do some research and see if that resonates with you um, yeah oh Stacy saying that she tried to take a picture of one the other day in the clouds and it just was hiding when she took the photo yeah that's too bad yeah lots and lots of cool cool knowledge um, it's so fascinating how um, energies like dragons can you know they've presented to us for years and myths and legends and stories and um, you know people have connected with that that energy uh, forever um, Kanu saying for all of time people have connected uh, when since humans have been here um, there's always been dragon energy around um, but uh, he's saying that um, now that more people are awakening upon the planet um, there may be more encounters and he's gesturing to uh, Stacy and uh, Hushna and other people saying like they've seen them in the clouds or they've kind of noticed them uh, flying around or felt their energy too um, it's gonna happen more often and uh, it's definitely something that Keen is looking forward to he is looking forward to connecting to more people and um, I think that 
he's just he's just so happy right now telling me he's ready to connect with more people um, and I'm just really excited for people to connect with dragons in general and Kanu in particular if you want to call him in and see what he feels like he's very different than some of these other dragons that we've channeled here tonight um, but it's so fascinating to connect with any type of dragon energy they just feel so magical and amazing um, so if you want to invite one, if you don't feel like you've worked with one before, if you want to invite one in um, to channel with you or to just say hi to you in a meditation, please do so. That's a great place to do it. And um, yeah, Kanu's just kind of, he's drifting away now. So I think that's the end of this video and this channeling. I hope you guys have had a good time connecting with uh, their energy um, it's been fun. I really love connecting with dragon energy, like I've been saying here in the last minute or so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thank you all so much for the questions. Thank you all so much for the love and support. And I can't wait to see what the rest of this year brings us um, and brings me and my husband with our little baby girl. So we're really excited. And um, if you guys have any questions, about dragons, feel free to post them in the in the uh, group wall. Um, if you want to share dragon experiences, feel free to post in the group wall. I'd love to hear maybe some experiences that you guys have had seeing dragons or interacting with dragon energy. That'd be really fun to get to hear from you guys. So feel free to do that. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, but I will let you all um, go for this evening. Thank you again for being really patient with all my technical difficulties. Um, with that, uh, I think it's time now for me to hop off the, the computer here. Um, but have a good one, guys, and I hope you have a great weekend as well. So take some time, get some rest, talk to you all later, and see you on the group wall. Bye now. Thank you.